I'm gonna check right now for you. It's actually pretty ridiculous. Um, friends. Total friends. Last time I looked was. Uh, I think I've got like. Let, let, let me just let me get. Okay, let me get it. I want to click on more. And I'm gonna choose. Not enough. I have 1,061 friends on Facebook. That's what I like about Facebook because you know you have to accept them right as a friend. So if you don't really want to talk to them, you just hit the ignore button. And there you go. You know what? I, I went through, actually, and I cleaned it um, about a month ago. These are people I might not talk to, people I might not even enjoy, and uh, I add them simply for avoiding any awkward moments that might be caused from not adding them. It, it's a tool. I use it for what it is. I don't have uh, zombie applications, and I'm not a werewolf. I'm not going to bite you, and what else? I'm not a witch, and I'm not a gorgonzola or whatever. It blows my mind sometimes. Um, I grew up when it was all phone calls and uh, see you at the pub or see you uh, on the soccer field and uh, just see you whenever, see you tomorrow. Um, now you can, you know, everybody's, what everybody's doing and how everybody's feeling and there's signs and symbols and games and... Uh... I think it's an awesome thing actually because you have to keep in touch with people, right? And, like every person you meet has had some sort of impact on you, whether you notice it or not. So I don't know, it's kind of cool to be like, oh yeah, you know what I mean? Cause sometimes you forget about those people. I don't really message on Facebook. I just like you know check photos and upload photos of like parties I've been to and stuff like that. Yeah, that's basically it. It should be illegal to take somebody's picture without their consent, especially when they're drunk. It's almost like you know taking advantage of a girl when she's drunk. My site is private and you can't look at it unless you're my friend, so I'm not really too worried. And I don't have any pictures up on there that are potentially embarrassing. I don't like if I'm in touch with people that I want to be in touch with for a reason. If I wanted to be in touch with you, then we still would be in touch kind of thing. I'm not just going to add you because we went to the same high school. With some people, I'll text message more and some people Facebook back and forth more because some of my friends don't have cell phones and some of my friends don't have Facebook. So it all depends on the person. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Text Texting. Message. Yeah. Cell phone. You know. Yeah. Text messaging. Mostly yeah. calling. Text messaging. And a little bit. Text messaging, yeah. I, I would have to say I can't live without it. Anything professional, I uh, phone. I pay the phone call them. Um, or email, and then for friends, Facebook or text, usually, yeah, but I'll call if there's a, it depends how, how drawn out the conversation has to be. People don't understand um, the difference between talking to somebody and typing to somebody. I hardly ever get any phone calls. If you look at my phone, the last received call was probably like two days ago. Text message, I probably had like 30 already today, you know what I mean? If I want one piece of information, I'll text them and get that piece of information, and that'll be it. Um, I like it because it's easier to talk to someone when you're not like actually talking to them. You can think about what you're writing. It's way easier to write to somebody than it is to talk to them face to face. It's, it's like a polite way to uh, send messages to people if you're in a situation where uh, you can't be on the phone. If I'm just giving somebody a message that they don't need to respond to, they're getting a text. I mean, it's the same difference as picking up the phone and calling somebody, but it's, it's a matter of time, I guess. Like, I'm at your apartment, I'm outside, get down here. I don't need to talk to you about that. A text message will serve the purpose very nicely. Everybody's at a click, click away. Here you go, here you've got, you've got the bad English here. Ah, cool. And then thanks is spelled T-H-X, but uh, I know what that means because I'm hip with the cool text lingo. And you know, look, Janelle out of town for the break. Instead of uh, spelling four, my friend uses the number four. That's like using one letter to represent one word, or a number to represent a word. I'm going to start talking in abbreviations and things like that. LOL, Hasselman. LOL. LOL, 35,000 times a day, is nothing. It's kind of hard to understand sometimes when you don't know what the person's referring to. I'd say it's just normal. I keep, I, it keeps me closer in touch with people that I wouldn't normally be able to talk to. Like, I can't see my friends every night because I've got homework. But if I, if I can text them in class, we can still, you know, have some form of communication and we still stay in touch. On the flip side of that, I do most of my communication through MSN and put a screen up between me and everyone else because basically, if you want to leave, you can leave whenever you want. I'm a crack very... Uh... <laughs> Attic, yeah. Now let me just check how many messages I've got today. Um, I have 39 for today, and I've sent 34. Uh, so far, 22 times today. <laughs> and what time is it? It's about 1 o'clock. I'm a busy guy. Got lots going on. Tell so-and-so I'll be late, or I'll be late, um, and then maybe why aren't you here? Where, where are you right now? It's less substantive and how much do you convey over three acronyms 
but at the same time, they're communicating right from the start. I think uh, more and more people are less inclined to speak face to face or speak with their own voices, and we like hiding behind computer screens and hiding behind little uh, cell phones. And, uh, I mean, it's part of the whole crumbling of the social fabric, I think. I don't have a cell phone. I don't have internet. I just talk to most people. 